All right. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to do any more um, Axis and Allies um, World War I 1914 uh, videos. I was just going to keep it to the community tab. But um, Rob did pop over. We did. Uh, he did the turn for the Austrians and I did the turn for uh, the Russians. That's it. And uh, we're already I'm noticing it. it is a gripe for sure is the fact or a little bit more than a gripe. Um, we're already running out of um, the actual figures for crying out loud. Like try, we're already figuring out ways of like, okay, flip the silver disc upside down to reveal like the wooden bit. So that'll be like an artillery piece if it doesn't have it and so on and so forth. I'm like, oh, this sucks. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using uh, the stuff from my attack game, which I've never played. I picked this up actually at Can Games for like a song. But uh, it has things like this. It even has different size artillery pieces uh, for like little guys. Hold on here. As you can see here. I, you know, I guess this is like, um, you know, f like different units, maybe five artillery pieces or one or whatever. Uh, they don't have all the different colors, obviously, then, well, you know, they don't have the same colors as what I've got. So what I'm going to do is just all these markers that I'm not using that came with the the actual Axis and Allies World War One game. I'm just going to use these whenever I have to. So, for example, if we are going to put in some more artillery here, I'll just at the end, you know, I'll put whatever quantity discs and so on and so forth. But I'll, I'll just always put a, a one of the nation markers on the top. So that way uh, we'll know what the heck's going on. Okay, I'm going to remove this and I'll tell you what's going on quickly. And then that'll be that. And then I'll, I'll go off into community tab land again. I like it. Hopefully. So Rob, um, well, he purchased an airplane and uh, he, um, some artillery and some infantry, and then he attacked, uh, he, well, he invaded Serbia and Albania, which um, clicked in the Russian troops uh, to go there. And it's the double number. So it's a two there. So that was four. So they get one artillery and three um, uh, infantry. And uh, those guys, I think, are three. Hold on here. Oh, there are two as well, so that was a four. And you get the idea. So, oops, I'm sorry, I'm knocking over stuff because I'm not paying attention. And uh, that was a bit bloody. Uh, well, it's both contested. I think um, no hits against the Ru or the Serbians and one hit to Rob, oh, sorry, the uh, Austro-Hungarians. And then um, uh, two hits to the Austro-Hungarians and Albania and one hit to the... Um, well, the Albanians were being represented by the Italian troops. And then for the Russians, all I did was um, uh, purchase a battleship. Why not? I wanted to try some stuff out. So we're going to try to take control of the Black Sea and um, load it up on artillery and infantry and didn't do any combats. So I just entered Romania to say, hey, uh, come on in and enter the war. That was it. Um, it's looking good. Uh, Rob is loving this to bets. He, this is his... His groove, like he, as soon as, I'm not saying he is, but pretty much I can say when he said this, he's just like, oh yeah, hex encounter, whatever kind of thing. I was like, oh my gosh. So I don't know what that means. So anyways, well, don't worry, he'll go back. He'll go back. But yeah, he's into this for sure. And hey man, right on. Okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great time.